Hello, everybody. It is Saturday morning, and it is kind of cold here. You know, I know as a lot of the country is melting, woke up to 55 degrees here today. I had to bust out some long sleeves. Not to worry, though. It's going to be above 80 later on. I don't know if it's like that where you live, where you live, but Ohio and a lot of the Midwest, it's very common. It's 51 degrees one point of the day, and then 84 degrees later on. But, yeah, I don't know if you're tuned into this channel for Ohio weather or not. One thing about Ohio I did want to talk about, though, maybe somebody here can help me out with this. And uh, I did run it by my friend, and he was like, yep, 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 that's right. That's how we remembered it, or that's how he remembered it as well. It was uh, November of 09, we're at the Cincinnati shows, and somebody had a sign, like, shaped as a rocket and had written on it, Rocket Man. And I don't know if it was there both nights, but I remember the second night we definitely saw it. And it just stuck out. You know, I think it was like fluorescent green. Again, it was shaped like a rocket, says Rocket Man. And you just like, it felt like you could see that thing throughout the whole arena. And uh, I think we were like, what was up with that Rocket Man? You know, I think this were, these weren't our first shows after the, uh, when the, when they came back. I think we had hit some shows that summer also. But uh, I don't remember seeing the Rocket Man sign there. Well, anyhow, like me, he also kind of fell off by the end of 2010. And we were uh, not really going to shows, not even really following the band day to day. And then, But then it did get on our radar that uh, <clears throat> August 9, 2011, I believe it was uh, way out west, I think, pretty sure, they finally played Rocket Man. And we were just like, was it that person? Was that person going to every show? I mean, for years, every person going to shows holding up that song, Rocket Man. I never really got an answer. And I started to look here online a little bit this morning. I don't know, it's just something This is like, yeah, obviously. They, and, and that is the one and only time they played it. And it worked. Which kind of leads me into my next thought, which came from a big fan and friend of the channel, Spud. Oh yeah, and by the way, speaking of other big fans of the channel and friends, uh, Dan Z, hope you're doing well. You know, guys, Dan Z's been going through a bunch of crap since tour started. And uh, he's on his way to recovery, though. So Dan Z, hope you're doing well. And what Spud was talking about was uh, maybe refreshing the covers or bringing back some old covers. And right away, I thought of Psycho Killer, just like right off the bat, you know, and not, not one that was ever a regular. And then I thought of Curtis Lowe. That's another one I'd like to see. But mostly, definitely, I would like to see some songs, like even a funky bitch. I know at this point, and I do love Yamar, but maybe it's time to refresh them a little bit. Maybe Frankenstein could hit the road, Loving Cup. And then even a couple of Trey songs, uh, Mr. Completely and uh, Plasma. Now, while as much as I like Plasma, and I think it does fit like uh, it fills a nice role in these fish shows. Um, maybe we could come up with something else, though, man. Tab has so many great songs. Big drifting guy over here. Man, I attacked the app. Really seems like drifting had its heyday a long time ago, though. Tab never really jams that thing out anymore. It's like it's a, it's a pretty much a solid six-minute drifting every show for the last decade or more. But if you go all the way back to 2003, uh, you can find a couple of driftings that Tab really went to town with. <clears throat> and then the one time Fish also played it. So while it's not nearly the same song, and maybe might not be the jam vehicle that uh, Mr. Completely is, and not really just a wild card that Plasma can be, uh, I would like to see Drifting in there. And then maybe, um, you know, I don't know. There's some some Tab songs feel like they need zero. I don't know, maybe Night Speaks to a Woman or something. Definitely with a much older Tab. And then every now and then, like a poppy song off of Shine, like Tuesday. They've played it a time or two, I believe. Um, that wouldn't be the worst thing. Um, and then, uh, let's see, I like Cities. I like to see Cities replaced with Psycho Killer. I feel like Cities has had its time, you know, but then others might be like, no, nah, nah, Cities is one of them songs like Funky Bitch or Yamar. It's like a loving cup. It's a fish song at this point. Rock and roll. Glad to see they've toned, they've too, you know, they've kind of went, they've, uh, kind of pushed back a little bit on all the covers overall. I mean, there was quite a few shows this summer where they didn't play any covers. And then we got a show or two where they were a little heavy on them. So they're never completely going away. That's a little bit of the Frank Zappa formula. Like every night when you play a show, there's going to be some new people there that aren't real familiar with you. Maybe their friends drug them to the show. You know, maybe they just decided they wanted to check it out. Maybe they know a song or two. But really, you know, they're playing these covers a lot of times just for those people in the audience. Like they just need to hear something that they recognize. They're like, oh, I know this one, you know. 
after hearing an hour straight of fish songs that they're just not familiar with. Maybe every now and then it's nice to hear a Beatles, and they do really well with the Beatles songs. I feel like they can mix that up, too. I mean, they don't have to just play uh, A Day in the Life or whatever it is that they've commonly covered over the years. They could probably pick about any cool Beatles song and uh, make that work. Strawberry Letter 23, you never know what covers are going to work either. I've never been good at that. I know I've seen a lot over the years where uh, people will have a song by another band that they like, and they'll be like, oh, I think Fish could play this. I would love to hear Fish play this. Fish could do this really well. I just never can feel that or hear that myself. Um, and I know they have covered songs, and I'm like, oh, that's cool. I like that song. And then you hear it, and it's not all that great. Or maybe they just need to cover it over and over and over again, like they do with the Talking Heads or something like that. Uh, like these one, even that rocket man, it was just okay. So I guess to, uh, just to, uh, kind of wrap up that thought, uh, yeah, Curtis Lowe and Psycho Killer should definitely be brought back. And as far as what they could get rid of, yeah, Loving Cub and Rock and Roll, maybe Cities doesn't have to go. Maybe Plasma could stay, but Mr. Completely, come on, let's bring in Drifting and get rid of Mr. C. And then, uh, you know, I listened to a little bit of my last show ever when I took my own little personal hiatus, June 12, 2010. I mean, what a, just a lackluster show. A couple of weird covers. And then, um, I had the set list here. Man, I mean, they opened up with Lookout Cleveland. It was like, all right. Okay. Kind of in Cleveland. We're near Cleveland. And then, uh, the only song that really made the jam chart that night was Backwards Down the Number Line. We got the Time Turns Elastic. Did get a nice mic screwed in, that said. I remember that. I don't even remember much about this show, other than just being like, man. Like, they still, it's just not what it was. Like, in 03, I saw some really great shows. Even caught a decent show in 04. But boy, in 09 and 10, I just, it wasn't happening. I just, I mean, there were some great shows in 09 and 10, actually. Just, I wasn't hitting them. Instant Karma, they Covered Instant Karma. They were a little he they were cover heavy this night at Blossom in 2010, June the 12th. Their debuts of Lookout Cleveland and Instant Karma. Then also they covered Rock and Roll. Let's see what else do we have in there? Um, I thought there was one more. Curtis Lowe, Lookout Cleveland. And I guess that was it. Rock and Roll and Instant Karma. Okay, so I guess there was just four covers. I thought there was another one in there somewhere. Oki Paw. <laughs> they should probably, uh, oh, I gave this one a three star. <clears throat> I feel like good looking back, I'd give it a two star. Somehow the fans overall gave it a 3.5. All right, so does anybody have any answers on Rocket Man? Was that person carrying that sign around from city to city for like over two years, almost two years? Perhaps they were. All right, well, Spud, thanks for the suggestion. Got me going back and looking at some covers deciding to kill off some tab songs and um <clears throat> i'm still kind of on this early 3.0 kick <clears throat> let me clear my throat all right guys that's about all i had it's a little early <clears throat> i didn't have my morning pepsi and bong <laughs> guys boom we're out of here seriously check out drifting Check out that Blossom show from 2010. I don't know. I don't know why I'm telling you guys to check all that. I know you have lives. You have things to do. Football season's getting ready to start. Who's got time to listen to Drifting? I did listen to every single uh, Vita Blues version. All right, never mind. We're out of here. Boom. I got to say, also, I was totally wrong about that. I always wanted it this way. I love that song. But sometimes when Fish plays it, I'm just like them opening notes. I get real excited. I don't even realize that, like, ah, this is not good. It was the one where Trey kept stepping on Paige. It was like Trey just couldn't find the timing right or something. His tone was all loud and weird and I don't know. It just wasn't very good. Hopefully they'll try that one some more. Boom, we're out of here. Most events aren't planned. That's a great one too. There you go. Now that I've taken up all your day. You've only got three shows and like seven songs to listen to. Boom, we're out of here. <laughs>